turn your boring desk into an RGB masterpiece. This setup syncs with everything, whether it's music with colorful animations for your party. Your favorite India versus Pakistan match. The Oscar winning Triple R movie for the latest viral sensation Ghana. It reacts to everything that is playing on your screen in real time. And the best part. It's unbelievably cheap because there's no overpriced smart lights, no coding required and no complicated setup. All you need is 1000 rupees or 15 US dollars and 30 minutes of your time and boom, your desk is on another level. It's so easy, even your grandma could set it up. Let me walk you through the setup process. First things first, the budget RGB loop. LED strip 2 meters of WS2812B, minimum of 60 LEDs per meter version required. Total would cost around 378 rupees. Node MCU, the brain is just for 269 rupees. Right angle interconnects of 4 pieces, which would cost around 184 rupees. This will help us to route the LEDs perfectly curve around the monitor without messy wires. Node MCU 3D printed case is at 75 rupees. This will keep it protected and also make it look clean. Total damage is 1005 rupees. That's literally less than what you spent on Zomato orders this month. No wire mess installation. Wiring this up is super simple, but don't mess this up or you'll be troubleshooting for hours. The D4 goes to LED data in, the 5V goes to LED 5V and finally the G goes to LED ground. Now I wanted the lights to go all around my monitor. So I use these right angled interconnects to join the LED strips at the corners. Since this strip is long, the voltage drops towards the end. To fix that, I connected the 5V wire to both ends of the strip. This way the LEDs are uniformly bright all around. As you can see here, I still have three very short wires. These can also be eliminated by using a custom PCB that securely holds the node MCU and incorporates a flexible PCB like this, allowing for a direct interface. This is where tools like Altium Designer and Altium 365 come into play when designing a custom rigid flex PCB. Altium is well known for this and with Altium 365, the development process can be further optimized. Altium 365 is a cloud-based platform that connects everyone involved in electronic product development. It enables seamless collaboration, allowing teams to view, edit, and discuss projects in real time, no matter where they are. With Altium 365, you can review design files directly in a web browser and leave comments for your team. Share detailed object information with software engineers who receive instant notifications and immediate access to datasheets and other resources. Transition your design to production effortlessly by sending the complete design package directly to your manufacturer just by adding their email. If all this sounds a bit overwhelming for beginners, don't worry. Altium offers a free course called Learn Printed Circuit Board Design through their student lab program. This course covers everything from schematic creation to PCB layout, routing, and even manufacturing. I've also created a separate video to guide you through the sign-up process, obtaining an Altium Designer license, and getting started with Altium 365. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. No code setup. Plug in the Node MCU using the micro USB data cable. Open your browser and go to install.wed.me. Click install WLED. Select your device, hit install. Wait for two minutes and boom, firmware has been successfully installed. Click next. Connect to Wi-Fi. Choose your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, no 5G flex. Click on visit device. 
And just like that, your Node MCU is ready to go. Go to config. Then choose Wi Fi setup. We already set this up, but now we need to tweak a few things. Change the DNS name. Give your LED strip a name. Maybe your crush's name. Or just keep EI ambient light. Copy this address, then save and connect. Open the copied web address in the same browser. Go to config. Select LED preferences. By default, the system assumes you have only 30 LEDs, which is why only 30 are lighting up. However, we actually have 104 LEDs, so enter that value and hit save. Now your entire strip should light up perfectly. Now go back to the home page where you can experiment with the color ball, selecting different colors. You can also explore various color patterns and effects to customize your LED strip. Right now you're manually choosing colors and patterns. But next we need to automate this process and sync the LEDs with the colors on your screen. Signal RGB magic. Download and install Signal RGB. It's free, don't worry. Then log in. Skip the tutorial. Go to devices. Find WLED. Click on it. Boom! Your crush should appear here. Click on link to link your strip with Signal RGB software. Then go back to devices. We need to add and then arrange the LED strips exactly how they are placed around your monitor. Delete the default LED strip. Add 4 strips with LED counts of 15, 37, 15, and 37. Go to Layout. Rename them so you don't get confused. Then arrange the strips to match your monitor's borders. Now if your colors look weird, like if you see red showing up where green should be, just flip the strip horizontally. If everything was done properly, you should see the same colors on the back of your monitor. Now for the moment of truth. Syncing the lights with your screen. Go to Effects. Select Screen Ambience to enable it. Your LEDs now react to everything on your screen. Now let's test it with some games, Netflix Music. Here's the latest sensation for you. If you made it this far, so you tell me is that 1K is reasonable for, for a setup that's insta-worthy and actually functional. If you're doing this, spam in the comments.